Well, very pleasant. Good afternoon on National Guacamole Day. I'm glad you tuned in for this weather update here at the midday time period. That looks tasty to me. Maybe you would like to get a little of that this afternoon on National Guacamole Day. Let's go to the radar. And we're focusing in on Hurricane Sally. That is the big weather story. And so here is a look, basically, at Pensacola, Florida, Mobile, Alabama. And I'm going to step away here and kind of step you through some of the uh, areas being most affected right now by Hurricane Sally. And it came on shore this morning, bright and early, at Gulf Shores, Alabama. And now the center of circulation is there near Milton, uh, uh, as you can see, a little bit of counterclockwise spin due north of uh, Pensacola. Heavy, heavy rain just spreading across Alabama and on into the uh, western, into the western portion of uh, uh, Georgia. And of course, the Florida Panhandle being affected by this as well. But the uh, main circulation area is going to be right there north of Pensacola here at the midday time period. This storm is moving to the northeast at about five miles an hour. We'll continue to move uh, in that uh, same speed, maybe picking up speed a little bit. Winds are at about 80 miles per hour. I'll be back with a look at your local forecast after this. Texas Bank is a vital part of our community. Without Texas Bank, our schools, kids, family, and our economies wouldn't enjoy the quality of life that Brown has to offer. Texas Bank is more than free checking and low interest rates. It's scholarships, volunteerism, and charitable contributions that make our community what it is. That is why I choose Texas Bank. Proven, local, strong. As we look at the satellite and radar imagery, you can see the counterclockwise spin of Hurricane Sally moving up through Alabama this afternoon. Now back here at home, we have a little bit of cloud cover streaming over our area, and uh, some of those clouds may be able to produce some showers this afternoon. It certainly is in the forecast. Here's a look again, not only at Sally, but I call your attention to the southern portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Some system may be trying to form there as well. Some home cooking going on, forming in close, and not the typical long distance out into the uh, Atlantic Ocean. So we'll have to keep an eye on that area in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Weather headlines here locally, a few showers this afternoon and then showers on and off uh, tomorrow and into Friday as well. Low rain chances, though. The weekend weather starting to look really, really nice here at the uh, midday time period. 83 degrees, and we're a bit warmer in downtown Brown with a little more concrete around, but I think you get the picture. Mid-70s over most of west central and uh, central Texas here at the noon hour. Quick look at national temperatures. A lot of warm air out there still from Texas back up into the Midwest. And then, of course, the inner mountain west is a bit cooler. And that's just nice to see this time of year. Fall not too far away. In fact, next Tuesday on the calendar, at least. So this afternoon, maybe some showers in the hill country over the next 12 hours. We get out to 24 hours from now. We'll look to west Texas, middle enough to love some showers and also down into the San Antonio area. And again, tomorrow, not too far away, uh, we'll have some spotty showers around here, I think. And then the same on Friday. The chances go down for us, but uh, in east Texas and along the Gulf Coast, maybe some showers here as we get into Friday. So for the rest of our day today, a few afternoon showers, high temperature about 83 degrees, wind from the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour, looking for a low tonight of about 66 degrees with isolated showers, and northeast wind 5 to 10, and then for tomorrow, about like today, 84 for high temperature, rain chance at 30%, and northeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Not uh, going to find any super hot weather over the next seven days. I think we finally have most of that behind us. Temperatures just about the same every day, low to middle 80s. Overnight lows in the 60s, except this weekend. We may even have some upper 50s on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Rain chance is 30% for Thursday and 20% on Friday. So I think a pretty nice-looking seven-day forecast. That's weather. We'll see you again tomorrow morning at 7.15.